ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for 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 God. Welcome to Burlington. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. This is day 12 of our submission fast. Praise God. I pray that you are moving right along in the fast and that you are being vigilant. Hallelujah. Meaning that you are, uh, uh, your eyes are open to every single thing that God has for you. Praise God. And that you are steadfast on this fast, meaning that you are sticking to it, y'all. Hallelujah. It's 21 days, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eating clean. Praise God. Some of you may not even be eating at all. Hallelujah. I I can tell you I was going through and eating clean, praise God. And then I found myself, hallelujah, where I wasn't eating at all. Hallelujah. You know how it is when it's fasting time, praise God. Sometimes you'll go back to either a dry fast or just fasting altogether with just water, praise God. But the Lord is letting us know today, hallelujah, that we need to move forward in what he is calling us to do. And that is to yield to him. This is a time of yielding, y'all, praise God. We don't have any time to play around with God. There's so much happening in the world all around. If you open your eyes, praise God, the stories are getting even more horrific. I'm telling you, praise God. I was just watching a, a, a story just unfold where this young couple just had a baby, praise God, and they were, you know, welcoming their first child, hallelujah. But the Lord was sharing, hallelujah, to, to pay close attention to this story. And I just, I just sat there, hallelujah, and listened to it. And just to find out, to learn that this couple, praise God, hallelujah, did not take their baby home because their baby was decapitated during delivery. The doctors were pulling the baby's soul and the head was, y'all better hear me. Hallelujah. They, they, they severed I'm telling you right now, praise God, hallelujah. And, and even in doing so, the parents, obviously, they are taking um, suit against the, the, um, the, the parties who are involved, praise God, hallelujah. But I'm just telling you, we need to be praying, y'all, not only for our families, but praying for others, hallelujah. And if you are not praying for your families, you're not praying for your children, you need to get in gear and begin to do so. Because we're living in a time, praise God, where, you know, people are putting their trust in, for instance, physicians' hands, hallelujah, but you don't know who they serve. You don't know if they serve anything at all, praise God, hallelujah. And just to know that this couple went in to have a baby, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then ended up leaving the hospital without a baby. Didn't find out the truth until later on. Praise God. Do you understand? And the baby was decapitated, y'all. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now that the Lord is unveiling. He's revealing what's being swept under the rug. And he is showcasing his people at this time. That's why we are being called, y'all. Hallelujah. To stand up and stand firm on the word of God no matter what. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we can't be blown from side to side like the wind, y'all. Hallelujah. No matter what is going on in your life, you cannot be blown from side to side. You have to stand firm in what God has told you. I'm telling you, I'm a believer in what God told me. Nobody can come to me and tell me anything different, praise God. What God has said for me, hallelujah, it is true. I don't care what it looks like, hallelujah, because I know what I see is temporal. This is temporary, praise God. Somebody can be acting up right in front of me, hallelujah. But guess what? What, praise God. It is temporary in the mighty name of Jesus because what God says is true for me. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stand on it and believe it without a doubt. Praise God. And I'm going to move forward in it because he said it. Hallelujah. And people who know me know, praise God, I do what God tells me to do. Hallelujah. They can think, you know, hey, you should do this or you should do that. What about this? I'll tell them in a minute. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs to tell me, praise God, hallelujah, or the, or the Lord told me to do this, hallelujah, and I'm going to go ahead and do it, whether they like it or not, and it's just the truth, y'all, and this is how we have to be when it comes to the Lord, praise God, because when you say that he is your leader, when you say that he is your shepherd, and he gives you instructions, and you're disobedient, he's not your shepherd. When he tells you something, and you don't believe it, guess what? He's not your leader, praise God. You're your leader, hallelujah, and we need to get in our rightful place, because we don't have time to go back and forth about what 
God said, we need to be standing on our post because there's other things, praise God. There's so many other things that we have to do in the kingdom of God instead of focusing on ourselves in this time, praise God, because God got us covered. He said, don't worry about tomorrow, praise God. Hallelujah. We need to be present today. You understand? Even the past, praise God. Forget about the past. That's done. Hallelujah. Our sins are blocked clean. Do you understand? Praise God. We shouldn't be in the past thinking about the past, worrying about the past, all the things in the past. Hallelujah. That stuff gone in the mighty name of Jesus. What about right now? What are we accomplishing right now? What do we have in our hands that God has given us steward over right now? Praise God. Hallelujah. What are we doing with it? What are we producing? What are we cultivating? What are we nurturing? Praise God. That's what we need to be focused on. What is God saying right now? Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm fired up for the Lord, but I pray right now that each and every one of you on day 12, that you're fired up too in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and go to the word. We're picking up with verse 27 after, out of chapter 19 of Luke. And it says, but these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them in my presence. Praise God. So we already went over the enemies of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Let's go ahead and go to verse 28. After he had said things, he said these things. He was going on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Verse 29, when he approached Bethphage and Bethany near the near the mount that is called Olivet, he sent two of the, the disciples. Sorry, y'all. 30 saying, go into the village ahead of you. There, as you enter, you will find a coat tied on which one, which no one yet has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. Praise God. The title of this message is Go Ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Now, the reason why it's go ahead is the Lord was sharing with me that many of you are to go ahead. Even now, hallelujah, I should say many of us. Let me repeat that. Many of us have to go ahead. Hallelujah. But we can't necessarily see what's ahead, right? Some of us know what the promises of God, uh, what the promises are that God has for our lives and the prophetic messages that have been spoken over our lives or, or even what he has shared with us about our lives. We know these things, but a lot of times we don't know the step by step. A lot of times, praise God, hallelujah. We don't know what's around the corner in the mighty name of Jesus, right? But we have to trust the Lord in what we are doing in the path that we're walking on. Praise God. And so what I'm telling you today is is when the Lord is sharing with us to go ahead, we may not see, hallelujah, what's ahead, but we know we're supposed to go ahead because the Lord has ordered that for us to do. Now, here's the thing right here. When he told the disciples to go ahead, hallelujah, they went ahead, praise God. They did praise God, but we're going to focus on this scripture right here where he says, go ahead and told, he told them what they will find. Hallelujah. This is the key right here. You are to go ahead in the order of God. You are to go ahead doing what God has called you to do. But guess what? You may not know what's ahead, but the Lord will tell you. He will tell you what's ahead. He will tell you, praise God, hallelujah, what you are to find. This is true. The Bible has shown this to us, praise God. So if you're in a place where you don't know what's next, Ask the Lord, what's next? Hallelujah. He will tell you what's next, praise God. And I'm telling you from a sincere heart, not just to be asking and there's no sincerity and you're not going to do anything with the information that you're given, you know? Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to his servants, praise God, because you're going to do something with what he is giving you. Understand the steward, hallelujah, being a good steward over what he gives you, even the word, even when he speaks, hallelujah. You know, even when I'm spending time with the Lord and I'm just talking to him, praise God, and, and the Holy Spirit will share something with me. Hallelujah. Guess what? I'm supposed to do something with it. And I know, okay, this is a message I'm supposed to put out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm supposed to call this person and let them know what thus saith the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm supposed to reach out here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you understand? It's always something to do with it. Oh, I'm supposed to write this down. Praise God. Because maybe the Lord isn't done with that message. Hallelujah. But I'm supposed to write that down because he's going to add to it. And I have to be a good steward over what he has given me. Praise God. Which means that I have to be intentional. I have to treat his word like gold. I have to treat his word with respect. I can't just sit there, hallelujah, have dreams and let those dreams just go off somewhere. And when I'm, I'm, I'm needed to sit down and remember those dreams, I didn't write it down. You know, I just let it go off somewhere, praise God. Now I'm sitting at the table or I'm sitting at the desk or I'm on my knees trying to remember what the Lord said in that time, praise God. I'm telling you, we have to be good stewards. We're not perfect, y'all, hallelujah. And many of us need to write things down because there's so much that God is saying and there's so much that God is doing. Now, it's one thing for the Lord to give you a word, hallelujah, which represents him. 
and you are to go forth with that word and pour it out onto someone. But then it's another thing for God to give you something to actually do, meaning that you have to produce something, create. Now think about this. You, you're given words that you have to pour out into others. Now you have to produce something and create. And then on top of that, you probably have a life of, you know, being married and children and all that. So think about all of these different things. You have to carry journals, y'all. You have to keep up with what God is doing and saying. This is his time, his seasons. I'm telling you, he's opening doors when he opened doors, praise God. You just have to be ready. And when he tells you to go forth, go forth. When he tells you to produce, produce, praise God. Hallelujah. He will guide you in all your ways because he is sovereign. He is a good God and worthy of all praises. And I'm just here to tell you today, he said, hallelujah, go ahead, praise God. Because when you go ahead, the directions will be laid out for you. Now, right now, you may not even know where you're supposed to go. You may not even know, hallelujah. Well, I'm just going to continue to do what God tells me to do, praise God. But I'm not really sure what's next. You may be in that space. It's okay. Hallelujah. Pray unto the Lord and ask him just as he gave the disciples in this verse, praise God, verse 30 of chapter 19 saying, go into the village ahead of you. Praise God. There, as you enter, you will find a coat. Dear Lord God, tell me what I will find when I go ahead. I'm trying my best to follow your instructions. Oh, Father God, help me strengthen me. Oh, Father God, give me insight. Oh Lord, on what's next in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask the Lord. He will open it up to you. I'm telling you right now, he's so good, y'all. And it will be so quick, hallelujah, for him to just reveal the next step to you. Just pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, praise God. A lot of times we think God isn't speaking because we're not paying attention. But if we just look closely at what he's doing, praise God, God is speaking all over the place, giving signs all over the place. I'm telling you right now, hallelujah, he's doing it all over the place. He'll send somebody to you that you don't know just to give a word to you, hallelujah, just to say something to you, praise God, hallelujah, just to call out next to you in the mighty name of Jesus. They may not even be speaking to you, but because of what they said to somebody else, you know, it rung a bell, praise God, hallelujah, it, it alerted you, hallelujah. And that's how the Lord works because he wants you to know that you are concerned about, praise God. He is concerned about you and you are the apple of his eye and he is directing your steps, praise God. So believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord God, for this message of going ahead. Thank you, Father God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for pouring out unto us in Jesus' mighty name. We love you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for day 12, oh Father God, for every single thing that you are doing in our lives. We're just so grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for day 12. Hallelujah. We will go ahead, Lord God. We will go forth in your will, Lord God, doing exactly what you're calling us to do, oh Lord God. We desire to to be obedient and submissive to you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh Lord God. Hallelujah for shining the light on our paths, showing us exactly where we need to go. Thank you, Lord God, for being there when we get there. Hallelujah. Being our covering, our forever everlasting covering. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh Lord God, for being life and life more abundantly and showing us how to live that life here on earth, Lord. Thank you so much. You're so good to us in Jesus' mighty name. I love you. I love you. I love you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray that you are blessed by this word and this message. Go about your day doing the will of God, doing the work of the Lord, knowing that he has you covered. Praise God. And no matter where you go, keep going. Go ahead. Hallelujah. And the Lord will give you the instructions. They will be laid out before you step by step. Because one thing about God, he will not, he will make sure that you do not stumble. Hallelujah. Because the angels have set before you, praise God. They have set before you, which means that they have gone ahead of you. Hallelujah. And they have charge over you and they are going to take care of that will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just so grateful that the Lord is concerned about you. I'm grateful, y'all. Hallelujah. And I pray blessings. I pray favor. I pray goodness. I pray that the Lord open your eyes to what's next in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed today, and I'll see you back at 6 p.m. with communion. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. To get to know God. Ingredients. To get to know God. Ingredients. To get to know God. Ingredients. To get to know God.